what I think makes good YouTube comment. Uh, What's up guys, Spore Knight here. Welcome to a little video about what makes good YouTube content. Um, anyways, I just wanted to talk about like the 10 points, 11 points or so, uh, that I felt made good YouTube uh, Let's Plays and stuff like that. And uh, these are things that I'm striving for in my videos. So if you guys have any suggestions of how I could improve uh, with my personal uh, commentary in order to make my videos better uh, make sure to go and comment about that down below because I want to make my content the best I can for you guys so um, the first point let me just scroll up in my list here uh, scroll down in the list okay there it is uh, okay so the first point that I have is meaningful and witty commentary so what I mean by that is when you are making the video and you are doing your commentary it should be like something that either something that pertains to the content that's viewed on the screen or it's you're like telling the story of something from real life so it needs to be like focused with what you're trying to talk about so that it's not rambling blah, 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 don't know what <laughs> the person is talking about um, something the next point um, this isn't a requirement because there's plenty of channels that don't use it a ton but uh, it's something that I've seen that makes content more popular is if uh, there's comedy involved so that includes like having uh, it just like it, a good example the game grumps they have they're doing jokes they're making they're having funny comments about the things that they're seeing on screen um, it just make making it fun and enjoyable so that's something that I'm striving for and I'm actually going to be um, uh, in the near future I'm hoping to take like some comedy courses so that I can make my uh, content a lot better um, interesting game so if if it's a game that everybody hates on, on a large scale but um, if, if it's a game like that people for the most part wouldn't be interested in seeing that um, unless there's like something that you feel you can bring to it to make it really good um, there's there's going to be a high chance that people won't want to see it so it just be careful on where you're treading with that with what games you're choosing to play um, and then f following up on that point um, even if the game is super popular if you as the youtuber or myself if I'm not interested in the game I can't be invested on it enough to make the do the first point of the meaningful and witty commentary it's it's kinda hard to do uh, it, it's like oh yeah I'm just making this video it's something I have to push out no y you should be choosing something that you honestly want to play but you feel you can also do good commentary uh, not good commentary do good content on so um, there needs to be both sides of that you and your audience need to like the game or have a chance of liking the game at the very least um, eye contact so I look at my webcam while I'm recording these vlogs and I try to while I'm recording my gameplay I have a little green light next to my webcam so it's like oh look at the green light close enough it's it's just like slightly off but um, the the eye contact to me makes it feel more personal that like the youtuber is directly talking to the audience and for me and for several other youtubers that's exactly what they want it's it's supposed to be like a conversation between the youtuber and the audience because it we're a community and um we're supposed to be there for each other so uh, being able to talk directly to the audience by looking into the webcam is a very important thing 
Um, that is if you're using a face cam. Uh, again, example, the Game Grumps, they don't have uh, face cams, so they don't look at their audience. They can do whatever the heck they want. But, um, so, uh, <laughs> decent, but not necessarily perfect recording equipment. True, you can get started on whatever equipment you have around the house, as long as, uh, typically, if it's a computer and some sort of microphone. Uh, that's usually good enough because there's there's free con there's free applications such as uh, Shadow Play I think it's called uh, the new Xbox uh, game recorder that comes with Windows 10 stuff like that. There are free recording software pieces, and then for um, Windows there's like the free Movie Maker, and for Mac there's also a Movie Maker stuff like that. Or if you're on console game, there's now like the sharing the game clip or whatever. So um, it's pretty easy to get started. But in order to make good content, you're going to need some degree of decent quality. Like the webcam on my computer is a 720p uh, camera. It's good enough for doing gameplay. But for these vlogs, it's not quite good enough. And I'm going to be upgrading it in the future. But... Um, also, like, what microphone you choose um, is important. Like, the difference between having just, like, the boom mic or um, stuff like that. Uh, it, it makes it makes a huge difference in the quality of the content. Along with the editing software, you can get started with Windows Movie Maker. But then, if you want to get better and make it more engaging, you soon need to move up to, like, the next level of content of, like, what I use, Camtasia Studios or Adobe Premiere, I think it's called, or programs like that where there's uh, what's called PIP, picture in picture. And that, that makes it so that um, you can have text over the top and you can animate it, make it twirl around or whatever. And then you can have the webcam be here and then you can shift it over and shift it over, move it to wherever you want for it to be. Um, like even move it during the middle of a video plane. So... Um, just stuff like that. It's it's important to be able to have a better editing software to make better content. Um, lighting if using a face cam. So my room is a trash, so I haven't been able to use the better lighting. So I actually have terrible lighting behind me right now. Typically, you want to have like um. If you think of like a photography booth at school, how it has those flashlights, just like having a constant like light like that would be good light level distribution. And I plan to set something up like that when I head to college or um, maybe in my room here at home. Um, balancing audio. So up until recently, I did no audio. Uh, I did very little audio balancing. Just uh, I adjusted the audio levels between the tracks just to make it so that my microphone level and the game uh, audio levels were about equal. And, and that's one of the big things also with like Camtasia or uh, Adobe Premiere. You can adjust those uh, after the fact, whereas what I used to have to do and why I had to scrap my Five Nights at Freddy's recording is because I didn't do a mic check and um, the game audio was so freaking loud compared to the microphone level that it was just absolute trash and I couldn't use it. Um, which is a shame. It was a lot of good content in that those videos that I made. Um, but, like, I do um, what's called audio leveling for uh, one audio track. That That's my commentary track. And then I also like adjust the audio levels between the layers just so that they're at about the same height so that it's not like I can barely hear the commentary but then there's a really loud gameplay behind it so you just need to uh, be able to adjust those audio levels whether it's through your video editing software or it's through um, audacity or whatever just being able to adjust those audio levels that's important um, 
and give the viewers content constantly. Uh, if there is a silent portion and it's not really important to the story, you can go ahead and trash it. It's not like, oh, I need to hold on to every second of this here. Like, sometimes it's good to get rid of something that's not up to standard of what you want to have. Um, so, but also, if there's like, something for a cutscene or something that you're not commentating on. Um, typically you want to leave it in there, but depending on what type of series you're doing, you might toss it out as well. It depends entirely on what um, what you as the YouTuber choose to do. Uh, input suggestions, and this is one thing that uh, I need to work on, but I also need some help from you guys because this is something that it's not just one-sided. So. Input suggestions. Let the audience help direct the flow of the gameplay. So, I always ask, hey, leave a comment down below to talk about whatever, and I go and ask a question, and it's like, hey, if, if there's something that I need help on or that um, I need improvement on, leave a comment down below. I would definitely listen to your guys' input, but currently I don't get any input. So, I would, I'd really like if you guys could comment and then I could improve, but in the meantime, I'm just trying to find out, oh, this episode didn't do so well, what maybe did I do in the episode that wasn't the same as my previous episodes, so, yeah, just trying to figure it out and, um, the, just from the data there, but otherwise, there's not a lot. Uh, that you can do with that without audience participation. Um, and then the final point that I have, this video is much longer than I ever thought it was going to be, honestly, but um, the, uh, the YouTuber must be engaging with their audience. So, like, I need to be talking to the audience, um, and then uh, I have, like, the... The content needs to be interesting and something that you as a YouTuber would want to watch yourself when it's on somebody else's channel, for instance. Like, let's say you didn't make the video and you're just watching through it. If you enjoy it, then there's a chance that other people will enjoy it. So, just try and be able to do that. That's what I'm trying to do and I hope that everything turns out great. So, anyways... Uh, it, that was the end of what I wanted to talk about today. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching through this video about, uh, the YouTuber's content. Um, if you like the idea, I'm going to have a little icon up here in this corner. Um, there's going to be a poll for, uh, if you want for me to do more content like this in the future. Just a little discussion with you guys. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below and a comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.